Hi, I'm Adrian Clark. I'm Shortlist Magazine Style Director, and here we are on our weekly slot on um, Instant Improver Channel on Shortlist.com, where I give you some tips and some handy how-tos in the world of fashion and grooming. Today, I thought I'd show you because I have had a few inquiries probably spurred on by the, the recent trend in, in Mad Men and the, the return to kind of very tailored 60s um, suiting um, of how to exactly how to fold a pocket square to put in your jacket. The first few ways to show you are the more, um, the more retro kind of 1950s, 1960s style, which is where the handkerchief is very much squared off at the top um, and is very, very neat and very, very sharp. The best um, scarves to do this with, because obviously there are a lot of different handkerchiefs and scarves on the market, is to avoid the ones that are very, very lightweight and silky and don't have much kind of structure to them because you, to get a good, to get a good fold, you do need something that's got, got a bit of weight to it as a cloth. The best type of scarves to do that with are ones that are very solid and crisp and you can get a sharp line with and, and do have some form to them. Um, Obviously the trend at the moment is to be doing this with a white hanky in your pocket but um, I'm going to avoid that today purely because we're on a white table and you won't see it that clearly so for the purposes of this video I'm going to do it with a coloured hanky but what I would recommend is using a white at the moment because that's very on trend with a white shirt and, a, and a, maybe a skinny black tie with your suit. What you need to do is you take your jacket first of all, this is very important Obviously the pocket is going to go into, you need to know more or less the width of it. So you measure it, taking into account it should be just very slightly smaller than the actual width of the pocket. So on this one we're looking at like three and a half inches for example. And then you start with your pocket square. You fold the handkerchief into one side in half. And then you fold up again, not to the top, um, you leave a little tiny bit um, from, from the top so that you're not going to get an overlap when you actually do this. Then the best way to do this is to fold inwards. So here I'm folding inwards, I'll take my ruler get a rough idea of where three and a half inches is, so we're looking here. Always playing with it so that you're happy that it will fit the right width. That's about right there. And then what you end up with is a hanky with a very, very straight edge, such as here. Then what you will do is you take your jacket Slide it in. Now the best thing to do is to slide it in gently to begin with, but to get the clearer, more precise line on it is to use a ruler or you can use a shoehorn and then use that to form the shape. You can, do, you can use this one of two ways. You can either um, leave a very thin strip of the fabric as is shown here, more or less at exactly the same kind of height and level as, as the, the pocket itself. Or a more retro trend is to bring it in so it actually comes higher towards the inside of the lapel, like such. The next um, I'm going to show you involves actually creating peaks. So you get points. Again, you still need to use uh, a very structured fabric for that. So I will start with this, this handkerchief again. Um, you can do as many points as you like. There are, there, there are countless ways of doing this. I, for this purpose, I'm going to show you the most basic, which is a three point. This time, instead of a cross, you fold it like, into a triangular shape. And then you take the points of the triangle and you bring them to the top, like such. 
leaving the central one as your third point. Then you fold inwards of this. So I'm doing here. All the time kind of trying to work towards that three and a half inch width, which is just about perfect there. You then fold upwards of this depending on how much fabric you have, how big the, the it, it doesn't really matter because this isn't going to be seen. Just fold over so it's neatly done. You place inwards so the, 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 the kind of the fat lip part is on the outside, not on the inside. And then again, you can use the ruler to get it into a perfect shape and to have the perfect three peaked handkerchief. The other trend that's happening at the moment, it's got more of a 70s feel about it um, and this is the one that you would need something more lightweight and more liquid and fluid such as a silk hanky, is what is known as the poof um, and I'll show you the reverse poof as well and a fancy one. Um, you basically lay your scarf down, it's the simplest of them all to do you catch it in the centre, lifting upwards so the points fall down. You then use your hand to capture the actual top of, of the scarf. You wrap it round your hand so to create less weight, like such. And then this too you can just put into your jacket pocket and this will create in a, in a way, the opposite kind of effect of what we've just been doing. So instead of something very sharp and very crisp and very um, 1960s, 1950s in feel, you will have this kind of 70s feel to the, to the scarf. You can do the reverse of that, um, which is exactly what it says it is on the tin. You pull it up, pull down, Instead of this is going to be your focus outside of the pocket, you're going to use the reverse. So, therefore, you put this inside the pocket of the jacket. This way round. And use the points to create the pattern. Finally, you can do a very, very fancy version of this. You pick the scarf at four equal points, as I am there. You hold those together and capture that. And here you create four separate points within the actual shape. And here you have this kind of effect, which is more like a flower, which then again you can put into the, the pocket and it just gives it a little bit more something special but still in keeping with that same mood as the one that I showed you earlier. Those are kind of the basics to folding hankies. A lot of people um, are kind of flummoxed by the idea of doing it because they think there's some great art to it or some form of origami. It's not really. They're just kind of basic rules and if you follow those simple guidelines you will actually be able to achieve most looks. Thank you for listening. If there's anything else I can help you with in terms of fashion or grooming tips or any kind of help I can give you in how to do things, please do tweet me at shortlistmag and I'll be happy to hear from you. Thank you very much.